All right, so I made another left turn. This road seems really nice and paved and markers, so it must be a more developed area. Nice home here. We'll see where this takes us. swimming pool. Oh no, that's tennis court. So let's see. Flushing Meadows Resort and Playground. So I don't know if it's private property, so I'm not going to go down there. Most likely it is. Looks like their property goes all the way down to the water line. So anyways, we'll just turn back around. Or maybe I'll park here, walk down and, until someone tells me I can't. Yeah, we'll just do that. Water looks pretty clear from here. I hear people. Wow, that water looks nice. Kids playing on a, looks like a pier. Lots of little fishing boats. Some more tidal pools. Which I'm gonna go take a gander. Anyone who knows me knows I love tidal pools. The coolest thing I've ever seen is an octopus in a tidal pool back in San Diego at um, not Mission Beach uh, can't think of the, the name of the beach if when I remember it I'll maybe type it in nice so this obviously belongs to the resort really nice let's take a walk out on the pier So I know there's some white sand beaches and that's probably the other white sand beach in the distance there. One, uh, another vlogger I saw, I was actually looking for it. But look what you find when you just go exploring. No real destination, you just go exploring. I look like an idiot probably because I got my helmet still on. There's a Kuya out there looking for something. And I still haven't had any uni, any uh, sea urchin since I've been here. Maybe sicky whore. Hello, how you doing? Come on, Brad.
another resort up there. All right, I'm gonna go check out these tidal pools. So, I found a quite a bit of these sea urchins. So, in there, in there, over there, over there. And I'm assuming because they eat kelp, this is where you're gonna find a lot of them. Some right there. Another colorful brownish one stuck in there. Plus there's more oxygen in the water for these creatures to breathe with these aquatic plants. It's obviously low tide. And I'm getting to the end here. I'm gonna call these little segments left turn, right turn. Cause that's just literally what I do. See a street, go down it, see what's at the end of the rainbow, if you will. All right, guys, I'm going to end it here. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like, and hit that notification button. Appreciate everyone watching my videos. Although no one's left any comments yet, would love some feedback, whether it be negative or positive. Hopefully it'll be constructive. Be greatly appreciated. All right, have a great night. interesting well at least to me to walk in the tidal pools and see what you can see what's trapped in there I watch these uh well they're kids to me teenagers and they have a show where they go out and catch aquatic life in Florida and the most interesting thing I saw them catch was um seahorses I'd love to catch a seahorse again I didn't bring my water shoes now there's something there that's trying to not move. And man, it darted off. Oh, look at this guy. You see him?
He thinks we don't see him. He's camouflaged. And he is pretty well camouflaged. Lots of movement in here. Let's see what else we can see. More little small schools of fish. Not sure if we can pick that up. It's funny how you always find the cool stuff when you're about to leave the island. But I'll be back. I really like staying where I'm staying now, which I'll tell you when I leave. It's a nice Airbnb room with its own bathroom, rooftop deck, with the outdoor kitchen. The lady's really super, super nice accommodating I'm not set up and I'm lazy I need to set it up eventually with my Gcash and all that so that I can order through Food Panda and all that but she orders food for me I just reimburse it she hooked me up with the guy for the scooter I highly recommend this place the only thing is it's in Taglibiorn which is quite a well it's quite a ways from Peng Lao and Alana Beach but it's like a 20 minute 25 minute ride depending on how comfortable you are riding on a scooter again my parents are going to be pissed and kill me but I'm I'm a savage on these streets driving that scooter I, I, I ride like the Filipinos you know I'm, I'm bobbing and weaving I'm overtaking cars overtaking scooters um, you know you got to get in where you fit in they're doing it and that's how they do it and get around. That's how you have to do it. There is no courtesy here when uh, you're driving, man. You just gotta make a turn and hope you don't get hit. You know, it, it, I, I hate to say it, that's that's just how it is. Anyone who's driven here in the Philippines, that's just how it is. I told him I wanted to go. Oh. I told the lady I want to ride to Cebu. She's like, I forgot what she said, but it was like, good luck. And then she changed it. It was something also she said, but she doesn't suggest I ride in Cebu. She doesn't think I'm ready for it. But I'm gonna give it a try. There's another sea urchin. I assume there's sea urchins. Let me see if there's some way I can fish this guy out and look at him. Alright guys, I took one of those right turns and then a left turn. And I found that beach that was on our right side as I was walking through the tidal pools and I showed you. Wow. Look at this. I'll just do a brief, quick look. This will have to be another video. Sorry for the angle on the camera. Powdery white sand. Look at this. Oh, beautiful. So I was down there. It's starting to sprinkle. One of those coves. And I just drove down and then made a right turn local beach so I'll just give you a little quick glimpse 
I'll come back and vlog this. Looks like a little sh fishing village or island hopping. There's the hole in the distance over there. I think I'm gonna head on back home. It's sprinkling, clouds are starting to get dark. But yeah. I guess that's where you would uh, talk to someone about the area, tourism. I don't know if that's a weather station or some way to communicate with the boats, I, I have no idea. Looks like that's a little mini resort over there. Nice. Yeah, I'll have to come back and vlog this. So as I said in the video, I was going to come back here and go snorkeling. It's Sunday. I was here yesterday on a new series of videos that I'm just going to call right turn, left turn, which takes me to like little places like this that it's not touristy. This is all locals. So I didn't have a wet bag and the Airbnb, the lady that I'm staying with, she's like family now. She let me borrow her wet bag. So make sure you bring a wet bag, but you need to secure your... Um, cameras and wallet and money and all of that stuff um, because putting it underneath the seat does not work I've heard um, many of people who have put their stuff underneath the seat have come back to find their seat jimmied and all of their possessions stolen from underneath the seat it's not that secure I told, uh, I've um, put my fins on the back of the scooter I didn't secure them very well they f fell off so I had to do it again um, last time I had them in the bag sticking out of my bag and they flew off um, out of the bag so it's a struggle to figure out how to transport things here so I am going to go to snorkeling unfortunately my underwater camera which I spent so much money on I lost the valve that pressurizes it when you put your phone in it so I'm unable to take any video under the water um, it seems to be high tide yesterday if you can see those people down there that was all sand um, and now the water's up you know to the shoreline so let's go down and check it out I'm gonna first need to get this stuff off my uh, scooter and then secure my stuff in the bag and then I'm gonna swim as you can see the water is like crystal clear crystal clear beautiful quiet I took a wrong left turn trying to find this turn remember there's no street signs or anything you have to find landmarks and I found a beach that I actually went to before um, but it's really crowded, rocky, and I wanted to be on this white sand beach. Hello. Hello. So, try and find an area that I can put my stuff. It's Sunday, so it's family day here. I don't want to film them. Find me a little spot over here on the rocks. Check out the water, guys. It's beautiful. All right, like I said, unfortunately, I'm not able to take any film or video while I'm swimming because of my valve that I've lost on my camera. So I'm gonna try and find a, 
underwater case. Well, it's not the issue of finding it, it's getting it delivered here. Um, they had it on Alibaba, not Alibaba, Lazada. Um, waterproof click case for the Pocket 2. It got good reviews, so I'm gonna try and order that. Um, hopefully I'll get it within a week or two. The parts for my other underwater camera or housing for my iPhone, um, the hot dive, um, they said they could get it to me 10, seven, uh, 10 to 7 days, $44 for the part to FedEx to the Philippines, but now they're not answering my what's up messages, so don't want to rely on that. So let me dive in, guys, tell you how it is. All right, guys, so again, I apologize for not being able to take underwater footage, but the water is crystal clear, warm, beautiful. Um, not too many fish. I saw two different colored uh, starfish. One red with these like black bumps or brown bumps, and that's what it looks like underwater. And then your typical look, brown looking uh, starfish. A couple of little small fish running around. I did see a school of these little black and white striped fish and they seem to be eating some like mushroom type thing underneath the water. Just they were all just swarming and nibbling it. it had to be at least like three, four hundred little small fish. You know, maybe two inches long, an inch and a half long. Little babies, like a nursery out there. Um, the wet bag. Uh. <laughs> A little water got in there it's not the best usually they have the kind that seal and then you twist it and fold it up but because I didn't submerge myself totally under the water I was cool and I didn't have my stuff just in the, the wet bag I had it inside Ziploc bags inside another Ziploc bag inside of another Ziploc bag so that's how I secured my stuff so I suggest if you're using a wet bag of kind of cheap in nature again I can uh complain because I didn't have one at all and the lady let me borrow hers but a little bit of water got in there but overall all my stuff is dry obviously because I had it in the Ziploc bags so I'm going to head to another beach um, the one I saw is right around the corner over here you can't see it and it's more touristy but locals were there so I'm going to check that beach out Maybe I can find some type of uh, underwater plastic covering for my iPhone like you get when you go to like um, any water park. They have those little cheap little, well, they, they charge you 10 bucks, but they're like 50 cents on Alibaba or whatever. Um, that you put your phone in and sort of like a wet bag where it seals like a Ziploc bag and you put your phone in there. It has two different seals to stop the water from coming in. I uh, haven't been able to find one, but maybe I'll find one on the way. Um, there's a pretty touristy place that you pass um, when I'm going up that way, so there might be something uh, there of that nature. All right, guys, I'm going to head out to the next beach. Again, everybody, it's Sunday and enjoying their Sunday eating. So let's go to the next beach. All right, I'm shooting on my camera, guys, because I don't have much. Well, I do have space on the pocket, but if it falls in the water, it's done. If this can't, if my iPhone falls in the water, it's waterproof up to, I don't know, three meters, something like that. So I'm not worried about it falling in the water. Plus I have Apple Care. So anyways, I first tried to snorkel down there where the entrance is. Boy, was it rocky and I stepped on a sea urchin and you couldn't go out that far. So I walked along the beach, came down here, I dropped my bag, and came out here and I met a nice gentleman who told me that there's a nice reef out there, which I didn't go to, I went close because it's really far. He said it's out where Puya is in the boat. I don't even know if you can see him in the boat. He said that's where the ledge is. And he's way out there in the distance. It drops off. 
and you can see more aquatic life. So, for the most part, it's sand here, and then it starts to get rocky and rough. We're gonna go out. Let me give you a little look-see. There's a starfish. Oh, these are those fish I was talking about in the video. You see them? Black with white stripes. It's gotta be at least four or 500. This is a different spot, obviously a different beach, but you can see them. I don't know what kind of fish they are. I'll have to look it up. But it's neat. You know, you only see it on TV that they do that. And it's dispersed. So anyways, as you see, it starts getting a little uneven and rocky. And then there's different kinds of sea urchin and rooney. And it gets a little hard and uneven. More sea urchin, tons of sea urchins out here. Got to be careful. Like I said, I stepped on a little small one and it stung for about 10 minutes. Now I don't feel it at all. There's more there. So sorry if I'm not getting a good angle on the camera because I'm looking in the water to make sure I don't step on one of these sea urchins again. Luckily it was a little small, small, small one. So it's kind of unusual that you see this many out in the sand where there's no food. Because I know they eat kelp. There's a starfish there. And then it comes out to white sand. And you can navigate your way through here. And there's uh, mounds of seagrass on top of uh, a rocky formation. And you can pretty much go out pretty far. I mean, you can see the guy standing there. Here's the shore. And that's the gentleman I spoke to, I believe. And he's out there and he's standing up. So you can actually stand pretty far out. And then it starts getting deep and then deeper. So I went out to where you see those waves starting and then stopping. And uh, it was pretty deep there and swam around. For the most part, it was interesting. Some fish, not too many. But yeah, if you come to this beach, which I don't know the name, but I don't know why I didn't think about this. I'm gonna open maps, take a photo of where I'm at and then put it in the video. I don't know why I didn't think about that at the other place. Um, that way it give you a better location of where I'm at. yeah guys this is it nice peaceful quiet the guy said he likes to come down here and swim and snorkel because of it's really crowded and it is very crowded down there lots of families enjoying sunday you know a lot of people only have sunday off so they go to church and then come here and barbecue and eat This is something you don't see every day. It looks like some starfish. I don't know if they're mating, but there's one on top of the other here in the shallow. And they're moving or something's moving underneath there. Huh, interesting. It looks like they were there at one point because you can see the uh, marks, the fingers or whatever, the arms. And moved over here. I don't know what these little jelly things are. 
but I'm avoiding stepping on them. I don't want to find out. If anybody knows, please comment. So as you get closer to the shore, you can see water coming up from under the ground. Quite interesting. There's colors there? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even see that. Quite interesting. Hey, little fella. <laughs> <laughs> when you said crab, I was I was looking for an actual like he's crab old. you eat. He's definitely older. He's got a couple uh, barnacles. Right. <laughs> he's made it this far. Come on out. There you go. Waiting. Peeking out. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to go. There he is. It's your debut, buddy. <laughs> All right, we'll leave you alone. <laughs> Thanks for the show. <laughs> My viewers would like that. Yeah, I hope to see more stuff like this when I go to Sikihor tomorrow. Nice, man. Safe travels. We'll actually be there in about a week and a half. Oh, okay. But I don't, actually, I'm not going to lie. I, I I've been there before, and for me, that was enough. It's a nice So I'm walking along the beach with my new friend. He looks sick. And there's a seahorse. And he looks sick, but he's swimming. Maybe mm. not. Maybe he's floating on his last no, leg. No, he's, he's on his last leg. He's moving, though. For stuff. Right. So there's a seahorse. Pretty big, too. Camera. Good eye, man. First time I've ever seen a seahorse. Me too. And I was just talking to you earlier about that. Wow. This so, makes me wonder how, if there's more than uh Oh, they love the small grass. He's probably got pushed in. In the tide. Yeah. yeah. Maybe this water's too warm for him. I don't know. Well, he's, he's okay, it yeah. looks like. He just looks like maybe he's looking for food or something. I hope he's okay. Yeah, me too. Yeah, there's a seahorse here. Alive. Yeah, maybe not super healthy, but <laughs> he's definitely moving. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you guys want to see it. There's a seahorse over here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so he's wrapped his tail around that little thing. Alive. Yeah. Oh, he's swimming now. Yeah. Beautiful. Quite a crowd came around. I, I saw a seahorse, and it's swimming now. But it didn't seem like it was. common, honestly. And Darwin in Dumaguete. Darwin and uh, Bakang. I often see them at the discovery at low tide. Hello, Dad. So it was a great day at the beach. It's getting dark now. I met some friends, Carlos and his girlfriend and her friend. It's nighttime. We're getting that way. I don't really like driving at night here. I have, but in the city. Not here where there's not really too many lights on the road. I'm in Peng Lao. As you saw, we saw a couple of interesting animals. We saw the seahorse. 
I didn't get the sea cucumber or another crab because I ran out of <clears throat> storage space on my phone. And this camera was back in the bag sitting on the beach. So I'm headed back to the scooter. It's nice to have a conversation with someone from the States, which I haven't had <clears throat> since I left uh, Angeles City. And, um, well, that's not true. I did have a conversation with the lady's husband who I was staying at their Airbnb when I was in Dumaguete. But you know what I mean. Uh, someone closer to my age. And we just chit-chatted and talked, you know. Nice conversation. So anyways, this was a great segment on right turn, left turn, left turn, right turn. Just having no destination, but just driving around and then ending up somewhere. But it seems like some of the people already started going home. There's people out foraging for shells. People out there in the distance. The resorts have not picked up full steam here, guys. <clears throat> the resorts that are closer to Alana Beach have, but these little small resorts in between have not. We're probably a good 15 minutes away from Alana Beach. There's another couple we met walking on the beach. So yeah, time to go home, upload these videos. Got a couple in the works that are uploaded already that I need to um, just make the thumbnail for, publish them. I've got a lot of content that I need to put out. Once again, I wanna thank all my subscribers. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification. I appreciate all the support I can get. Have a great evening.